Welcome everyone to another episode in taking a look at the Planet Zoo Workshop Blueprints. And in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a zoo entrance, an aviary, some collections of a shop displays, and some fruit collections. We're also going to take a look at a castle, a warthog habitat, and a couple other scenery pieces. So let's get a look at these. The first piece that we're going to look at is an entrance for a zoo kind of a steampunk vintage piece. And this piece was made by a Sandabart. And look at all uh, how beautiful this piece is. We have our zoo entrances right here. So your people can just walk right in. And they have just done an absolutely fantastic job on this. I absolutely love this piece. And I love the style, the motif, everything about it. They have also included in here a workshop and a water treatment plant, a transformer, and another workshop in here also. This would be an absolutely beautiful piece to have in your entrance. When you spawn in the blueprint, there is no terrain done. So I have done some of this terrain down here and you could go ahead, you could do a river coming off of here. You could go ahead and just do it just like I've done it. And um, also another thing I was thinking of, we could put in some waterfalls. And that's right here. I'm just curious what some waterfalls would look like in here. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. Not bad, it's getting night now. And you can also see how well lit up it is. Now, Sandabart, you are extremely talented. We have also got a few more of your pieces to look at. Love the piece, love the piece. Thank you so much for posting on the Steam Workshop. Now, this piece can be built for right around 13,000. Oh, as the night falls, it just gets prettier and prettier. All right, our next piece was made by a Mikey, a TH, and Mikey calls this the Rakvin Castle, and you can build this for right around $26,000. As you can see, there's an entrance right here. People go in there, and then it goes into one solid entrance. And now let's go ahead and get in here. Take a look what this is all about. We have got a lot of areas in here for shops. The shops are currently vacant. You can go ahead and put any shop that you'd like in here. I went on ahead and put in one right here. And that was the Cosmic Cow Milkshake. Just to help me get the floor, uh, the paths all laid out. So that's what this... Uh, employee is all about and they have all kinds of little places where you can go ahead and put exhibits in here so we would go ahead facilities give me some exhibits please uh, just a regular old exhibit and we would put that and sometimes when this happens we just have to lay it no nope. we just have to lay it in not down here and then we're going to do an advanced move. And we would just go ahead and slip it right in there. Just like that. All right. So we would have all of our little exhibits. It comes with all of the exhibit boards and the speakers so that you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And, of course, it is in an, an Asian-influenced layout. And all the little details in here. Uh, all the beautiful, beautiful scenery. We have uh, the lanterns hanging down from the eaves. I love the architecture. It is so nice. Now, out here, 
you could also go ahead and you can expand your path. So you could go ahead and do this. The options in here are incredible. I went on ahead and left out these little areas because I thought they'd be kind of fun to go ahead and do some more decorating. But you could fill these in. I think that happened because there we go. We fixed it. You could go ahead and put in here all of your little picnic areas, park benches, trash bins, etc., etc., into there. Now, this path also goes back into here. And let's see if I can get in here good. Into a two little um, doors. So you could do ahead, you could put some more picnic areas in here. You could do all kinds of things with this place. It looks like you could put in six shops in here, along with two, four, six, eight exhibits in here. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Thank you so much, Mikey TH, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Love your work. Absolutely love your work. Our next piece was made by Woody. And Woody calls this the Macaw Parrot Aviary. And he's got a little sign here that says blue and yellow macaw. And look at how beautiful this piece is. So well made. It's got little um, nice, all kinds of nice little birds in there. These, they're just excellent, excellent little centerpieces. I'm going to go ahead and try to get in here a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see what's inside. Look at the birds. Aren't they not adorable? Okay, I need to go down a little bit. All the little details in here. Thank you so much, Woody, for posting on the Steam Workshop. The next little collection that we're going to look at was made by Artificial Artist. Now, Artificial Artist has done a huge collection of all different kinds of fruit displays that you can put out. So if you get this collection right here, uh, which will cost you right around 8000 you can go ahead and move this stuff around. And we're going to go ahead and see. We would just move that over here. And we might want this one. So we could move it and put that there. And let's move this cart. And put it there. And maybe do an advanced move on this. Gonna lay it out. There you go. You get the idea. So all these pieces are done for you so that you do not have to do all the little details. These little things there are so cute too. Put that maybe right there. And you could set up your own little area. Thank you so much, Artificial Artists, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Love it. Love it. Saves people all kinds of work. Our next area that we're going to go over here is by... A, remember our first piece over there, our entrance to our zoo? This is the same artist, Sam Bodart. And they have made all kinds of pieces that you can put into your zoo. This first piece that we're going to look at is called a Han Hanuman. And I look at this. Oh my gosh. This is done so well. I am very curious what all of these little pieces are. That is a pot. These are primitive spheres. Things are just made out of all of this. Everything. That's the lion mask. Look at how creative all this is. The fingers are made out of spheres. And with this, I'm sure this is a piece. Yeah, a temple elephant. Look at how beautiful he is. 
just absolutely, the amount of detail on this is incredible. That's a lion mask. And this over here is a tap cap, a tower cap, excuse me. And a San Sambadart also makes all kinds of animal sculptures. This is a bongo. Is this not adorable? Anytime that you would have a habitat with a bongo in it, would you not want to put that there? And we have over here, we have uh, the lizard or iguana. And then we have a lion made out of vegetation. And all of these little into azaleas. And a sagebrush bush. So cute. And then look at the zebra. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful pieces of art. Uh, I would highly recommend you guys all going over and checking out a Sambad Arts uh, Steam work page. They have tons of wonderful, wonderful builds. The next piece that we're going to take a look at was made by Sabrala. Sabrala. Oh, so creative. Look at this. A little Alice in Wonderland place. Now they call this a habitat for a warthog. And you can build this for right around 7,000. But look at all the creativity in here. Oh, just so cute. I love these mushrooms. And I wonder, is it going to get dark? Because I would love to see this at night. I'm wondering if it has a lot of light. I might need to put in a uh right here i need maybe i put in need to put in a facility give me a transformer thank you and let's see if there's oh yeah look at it wow that is absolutely fantastic i think your warthogs would absolutely love to live in here that is so cute thank you so much sabrala for posting on the steam workshop uh, just so creative. Great work. Great work. The next pieces that we're going to look at are a few more mosaics made by that sleepy girl. Now I have shown some of that sleepy girl's prior artwork and I just love how well it is done. Again, we're making them with gutter funnels. And let me get inside of this. And yep, gutter funnels absolutely fantastic work i love this unicorn now would that unicorn not look so cute displayed over there with alice in wonderland not quite the same but um i just think that they are so well done thank you so much that sleepy girl i really enjoy your work the next piece that we're going to look at was bait made by knife and knife calls this inside the books you can build this little scenic piece for right around $17,000. And as you can see, we've got the Jungle Book, the Lion King, the Little Mermaid, and Tarzan books all sitting up here. And then we have a Bambi book. Now, as you get, and you can look straight down, there's Bambi's. There's Bambi's Forest Land. So well done. Look at how deep goes in there really deep so very three-dimensional they have actually put in the words to the jungle book yes man cub please go to sleep sleep little man cub rest in peace and look at the depth in here very very nice very well done and all everything lights up absolutely love this piece it is so well done we'll go ahead and take a look all the way around it and it's just adorable little piece uh thank you so much nath for posting on the steam workshop and this one was made by zoo fluencer and a zoo fluencer made a monkey climbing rocks and shelter and you can build this for right around 5k now this could go right inside 
monkey habitat. And there is all kinds of things you can do with this. Um, you could go ahead, you could sculpt the land around here. We could push down some areas. We could go ahead and create um, some water around it. Let me go ahead and just try to see if I can get this laid out just a little bit here. Uh, no. Nope, I want that. There we go. All right. Maybe just go ahead and lay that out and fill it up with a little bit of water. Like that. Uh, a little bit more. Right there. Thank you. And we could put in a waterfall in here. Let's go ahead and go. Oh, yeah. Give me some waterfall. There you go. All right, and let's start the time. So we take a look at that. And it just work, you know, play with this a little bit more. Maybe another one there. Maybe another one right there. There you go. Uh, you could put water through the middle. You could put water all the way around the edge. Put, Of course, put in some more plants in here. And I think your monkeys would really enjoy this area. We got lots of little sleep areas for them to stay in. And I just think um, this would be a great addition to any zoo monkey habitat. Thank you uh, so much, Zoofluencer, for posting on the Steam Workshop. And we have one more piece over here. This was made by Moving Target. Moving Target calls this shop displays slash t-shirts. And look at these wonderful pieces. Uh, you could put these out all, everywhere that you have your shops at. Laid out all different kinds of ways. And so for the price of 7000 you get a two of these and you get two of these. Now they're easy to move around. Just pick them right up. And just lay them right alongside. Probably advance move that, please. Get it lined right up with the other one. Put these side by side. And slide it right over there. A little bit more out here. There we go. And look at how adorable that is. Those two little pieces together. Thank you so much, Moving Target. What a wonderful addition to the Steam Workshop. Thank you, everyone, for joining me in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed all looking, taking a look at all of these beautiful, beautiful pieces that are on the Steam Workshop. So much creativity. And I just want to send a thank you to all the wonderful artists that are on the Steam Workshop. Thank you so much for posting on there, and I hope that you all enjoy. Uh, definitely go ahead and check out each one of these artists. They have got some great work on the Steam Workshop. We'll see you all back next time. You take care.